Hi, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start your live event. If you wanna know how to set up the live event and create it, then we've made a video for that. So if you hit the link in the top right hand corner now, you can go and watch that first. This is the next step where we're gonna set up the meeting, make sure the presenters have all joined and make sure that the meeting's ready to start streaming. So I'm going to show you what the meeting looks like from the point of view of the producer, the presenter and the audience. So I'm going to be switching between different views during the course of the video just to show you what they see. But to start with, I'm showing you the view of the producer, which is me, Matt. I've created a live event called Company Meeting and I've invited two presenters, Megan and Alex, and I've also added a room. So what I'm gonna do next is make sure my event group, the presenters essentially, are joining the meeting and are ready to present. Now I've switched views to one of my presenters. So this is Alex's mailbox. In the run up to the meeting, when you invite a presenter, that presenter is gonna receive an email that looks like this. So my live event's called Company Meeting and it's describing where it is and when it's gonna be. And I just have to say yes to the invitation, which completes the invite. Now, when I go to Teams now, I'll see my meeting here and I can open it up. You can see that I've accepted it then. So as a presenter, I wanna now join that meeting in Teams. So now I've joined the meeting. Now I've switched back to Matt's view, which is the producer view, and I'm gonna join the meeting too. Now you can see I've got myself, the producer, and I've got Alex there as the presenter. Now you can see above here, I've got these two feeds. I've got the queue, and then the live feed. So the queue is for adding content like Alex's presentation to the queue. And then the live event is what the audience actually sees. So you'll notice over here, we've got two types of queue. So we can split the queue into two so we can see what's ready to be streamed. So now I've brought in my second presenter, Megan. You can see there in my presenters list. And I've also shared her desktop from her Teams app. And now I can see that as something I can add to my queue. Now, one thing to point out here is that if you're a presenter, you must use the Teams app. It could be on a Mac or a Windows computer, but you can't use the browser or the mobile app. You have to use the full fat Teams app. Now I've switched to the audience view. So when they try to join, they'll see this live event hasn't started message. And until the producer has started the stream, that's what they're going to see. So now let's switch back to the producer and we'll start the live event up. So back on the producer's view, you can see Megan's content is down here and it's something I can select. And all I need to do is just double click it, which will place it in the queue. Now you can see at the top here, the company meeting's been running for a while. It's got one attendee, but we're in pre-live. That means we're not streaming anything to the audience. As soon as I hit the send live button, what's in the queue is gonna appear in the live event. Now don't worry about the fact that it doesn't fit. That's just because of the size of my screen. The audience will see the whole slide deck. Now, once we've got the queue in the live event window, we can then press start here and it will say, do you want to start the live event just to confirm it? And I press continue. And now that's streaming to the audience. You can see we've got an end button now so we can stop the stream at any time. And up here we can see that it's live and we're recording as well. So now let's switch to what the audience will see. So now I've switched back to the browser of one of the audience members, and you can see that they're now seeing the whole slide deck. 
And as Megan moves through the deck, you can see the updates on the live feed. And there's a little bit of a delay as well. So that's how you set up your live event, invite your presenters to the event and start streaming video for your audience to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.